Hi, welcome back to Home in Me. The thought for today was not judging yourself as broken or less than other people just because you've discovered that maybe there's a few things that you need to work on. <laughs> you know, just like a car. You know, if my car needs in a carburetor adjustment or new tires, I'm not going to think that it's a bad car, right? Or if my computer needs some new uh, software, like maybe I want to download PowerPoint or Excel or something, doesn't mean that, that my computer is less than or no good or is less valuable just because I need some downloadable programs. I'm going to, in the instance of a car, I'm going to make whatever adjustments, get the tires, do whatever I need to do. And with my computer, I'm just going to buy whatever software I need and download it. I think when it's personal stuff, we tend to like have a lot of judgment about it, or at least I did. I thought that I was less than other people. I was broken, and I was always going to be broken, and I would never be as good as everybody else, and you know, and it's, that's baloney. So my philosophy that's, um, you know, I do my philosophy cafeteria style. I take what I want, the stuff that makes me feel good and empowers me, and I leave the rest. Um, my philosophy is that we are all spiritual beings having a human experience, right? I'm not my feelings. I'm not my defects. I'm just a human being. You know, my spirit lives within me, and I have to take care of this human beingness. It's like I have to take care of my car, and I have some skills, and I don't have other skills, and it's my job as a grown up to, um, you know, logically, without drama and trauma and judgment, just kind of step back and evaluate myself and say, okay, what are areas that I need work on? And then, I mean, just be honest. I mean, you know, you don't, I didn't need my mom or dad or mate or anybody to tell me what my weak areas are. I am well aware <laughs> of what my weak areas are. So I, then I have to prioritize them. So I, um, I actually wrote it out. You know, this is, how I want to be, this is how I want to show up, this is the kind of person I want to be, this is who I, I really feel like I am, and here are the skills I need to show up like that person. And then I prioritize them. For instance, if, um, if finances is a real issue for you, that you have, um, you know, a yucky relationship with finances, or if it's interpersonal communication skills, or if it's conflict resolution. You know, people, when you're not in balance, it's like feast or famine, right? So it's either I avoid conflict like the plague, or I'm looking for a fight, you know, and, and balance is somewhere, a nice healthy middle ground, right? So for me, I had to look at all the things that I needed to work on, and for me, felt like a very long list, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but then I had to prioritize um, what they were. So if, um, if finances was a big deal, um, then it was up to me to, to find out um, what I, you know, where I could get the skills that I needed. And based on your financial situation, there's a, there's a lot of ways that you can get help for little to no cost. There are um, SCORE programs where senior citizens who have retired share their experience, strength, and hope, their, their skills with people. There's local colleges. There's asking, asking somebody who is already where you want to be to be your mentor. Some people don't have the confidence to ask for that, but to that I would say if somebody asked me hey, um, you know, you speak really well or whatever. Um, would you please spend one hour a week and share that skill with me? I would say, I would say, absolutely, I'd be honored. Well, it's the same thing for other people. If you ask them to help you with finances or public speaking or um, interpersonal communication skills or whatever it is, they would be honored. So there's asking for mentors. There's local um, classes that you can take. There's lots of resources available to you. So today's message is do a scan, do an evaluation, 
without judgment on where you're at, where you want to be, prioritize what needs to happen first, chicken or the egg, and then and then get creative on uh, it's a it's a mystery, you know. Get creative on ways that you can get that skill, that carburetor adjustment, that downloadable program. There's lots of books out there. I'm crazy person when it comes to books. I, I read a lot. I also make my car university on wheels. You can go to the library and get books on CD and then listen to them while you're driving to and from work. Lots of options. So again, the thought for today is give yourself a break. Don't, you know, don't give yourself a hard time. Figure out where you're at, where you want to be, and how you're going to get there. Till next time, this is Catherine. Have a great day. Bye.